So, you want to be Marty McFly in Back to the Future, but you don't have a skateboard, and you also can't go, Doc! Just something... I, 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 guys, listen, at this point, I don't know where the intros come from. I just hit the record button, and they just come out, okay? Hey, guys, I'm Methods by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again to take a look at how to create an animatable uh, transparent texture in Blender. None other than Blender, of course. Uh, what will we be in? 3ds Max? What is this? You know what channel this is, all right? Come on. So, let's, get, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and drag a box over top of everything, and we're just going to... We're just gonna we're just gonna delete everything. We don't need it today. Um, hit Shift A, and we'll search for a. We'll use a sphere. Why not? UV sphere. Um, there we go. We're looking good, nice and wonderful. Um, now what we need to do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we don't have to add subsurface. We don't have to make it smooth or anything like that. We're just gonna do the material. So let's go to the material tab here on the right hand side. It's a little drop down. Select the material. That's called material. Nice. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and and uh, we'll do a couple things here. So. Uh, instead of changing the surface to a transparent BSDF shader, what we're going to do is we're going to leave it on principal BSDF because we have transparent options available to us. So let's go ahead and scroll on down. As you can see up down here, we have this thing that says, uh, where is it? Am I, I think I might, I think I might not be up, up alpha. There you go. So you can see this thing says alpha, right? So this, when you move it, it doesn't do anything. If you go to material viewport shading, it still doesn't do anything. Other than, it just turns black. That's all it does. So it's not transparent. Obviously it, it should be transparent, but the way we can fix this is the background should be transparent as well. So let's go to the main tab here, the first tab, go down to film, and then check transparent. So now you can see, if I was to go to the render viewport shading tab, you can see that the background's transparent now. It looks good, but the circle is still black, even though the alpha's turned all the way down. So why is this? Alpha should be transparency, right? Correct? No. So what we need to do is we need to do a couple of things. So if we go down to blend mode right here in settings, we can change this from opaque to uh, alpha blend or alpha hash. I'm gonna do alpha blend. And then as you can see, it still has done nothing. But now when we scroll it down, all the way down, the alpha all the way down to zero, boom, it's gone. There you go. Super easy. I know it's like really easy, but it it doesn't, you, you don't know if, if you don't know, you don't know, you know what I mean? So this is why you watch this video. Nice. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna animate this real quick before this video ends. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the first frame here. I'm gonna hover my cursor over top of the alpha box, hit I. On my keyframe or you can right click it and hit insert keyframe um there we go and then i'm gonna go to like frame 50 or something drag the alpha all the way down hover my cursor over top of the box hit i and then now when we play this change my in frame to frame 50 and we play this you can see that the oh that the circle disappears it becomes transparent Ooh, where's it go it's a ghost like danny phantom that's crazy casper nice so that's it that's literally all you have to do it's super easy um very very useful i just needed this very 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 much and i actually forgot how to do it i had to figure it out again so that's why i'm making this tutorial but hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it hope you learned something new today this is a very useful thing that i assume you will be using all the time when you when you find a use for it but yes i'll see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe if you're not already it really does help me out it's literally free and if you don't want to keep subscribing you can unsubscribe anytime you want to um i'll see you ladies and gentlemen in the next tutorial but until then Bye-bye.